Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this week's reading. I will be using the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. And the first card we have for this week is Authority. Authority. When I look at this card, I feel this card speaks to me about assertiveness, standing in your power, being your own authority, not giving your power away. What are you going to allow? What are you not going to allow? Now, assertiveness does not mean being rash or rude, but it's about standing in your own power. Okay? Being gentle, yet assertive. Now, this card also speaks to me about making decisions and, and standing by them. And being an authority in your own life. So what are what is that you want? What is that you truly desire? Then step into that role. Be that. Be that authority. Don't give your power away. You are not a victim. You are not a victim and you need to step out of that victim mentality of giving your power away. So be strong. This is also speaking to me of boundaries, setting up healthy boundaries. As healers, we sometimes tend to give and we give a lot and it's, it's not right for you and it's not right for the other person. You have to set healthy boundaries and be clear about where your boundaries begin and where they end. So authority, the beginning of the week is all about stepping in your power. The second card that follows is patience. Patience. As I look at this card, I feel you cannot rush through life. No matter what you're desiring, whatever you're working on, know that it, it's going to come about in its own timing. You can't force things. You have to be patient. Know that spirit has a higher plan. And I'm drawn to the seed here. So, you know, you're probably just planting seeds right now. And maybe you're thinking, it's not happening for me. I don't know how long it's going to take. You have to trust that spirit. And if you, if you see this as the hand of spirit, spirit is working behind scenes for you. So you have to allow that to grow for you. And for that, you need patience. Moving on to the third card, we have light and I absolutely love this card because look at the way she's rising into the light and there's orbs of light around her so she's moving to a lighter energy I feel this has to do with your own light frequency as well you are shifting vibrationally and what I'm getting is spirit is saying just allow that whatever it is that for you whatever shifts you're going through physically emotionally allow that to be don't judge it don't judge it let it flow through you uh, I'm also getting surround yourself with light uh, also set the intention of light filling in your body through your crown through your third eye the heart chakra and moving through the chakras and the cells of your body that's what i'm getting work with light and you can also send light to uh different situations or people just the intention of sending light will allow that to occur okay for the fourth card we have balance balance and this angel is balancing you know, uh, we have the swords, the cups, the pentacles, the wands, all aspects of your life. What is not in balance? Step back, take inventory of your own life. You know, take inventory of your own energy. What's draining your energy? What's balancing it? What's working for you? What's not working for you? What's worked for you in the past, maybe not working for you now? That's fine. See step back this is about you know being truthful with yourself and finding more balance in every aspect of your life okay maybe your uh, relationships are shifting maybe the things that interested you at one time hold no interest anymore 
So stepping back and uh, I'm also getting balancing your finances. So, uh, you know, make sure you're investing in, in things that are fruitful for you in the long run. Okay. And uh, the fifth card we have is truth. Truth. And I see these scales here and this man, he's, he's backing us, but he's seeing the truth of the situation. So this is about being truthful with yourself, being truthful with uh, how do you want to go forward from here? What is that you truly desire? And getting into that heart center, that heart space uh, within as to what is that you want? How do you want to move forward from here? Uh, when you're truthful with yourself, everything else kind of falls into place. Uh, if you're in denial, uh, you're only kidding yourself because you're, you're wasting time. You're not facing the truth of the situation as it is. So this is about being totally honest with yourself as to what is that you want going forward. So hope you've enjoyed this reading. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.